My dudes, welcome back. Carter Bitsby Trippin. In the studio, and we got one to cover today. I have to cover this. I've been going back and forth on Twitter with folks, and I think they're kind of missing the point. Maybe they're not missing the point. Maybe I'm missing the point. I don't think I am, though. So there's some concern, and the concern I have right now is we're close to the merge, and that's good, but I haven't seen any of the other you know, details related to how the apps have tested. So I asked that question, how are the apps working? Are, are, if they're really close to the specification being done and they're you know, moving to this next Robeson test, what is the status of the apps? I tried to find something, I asked on a thread with Tim saying, hey, have the apps came back and said, they're good also, you guys have done your test, I understand it's consensus, it shouldn't affect them. We all know how this works. It shouldn't affect them, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't test. You should always test on an infrastructure standpoint. There are RPC issues. There could be all kinds of things. There could be things in their code that they have to fix, not on the ETH dev team, but on the actual apps team. These are real things. This isn't FUD. This is like a, a genuine question coming from software developer back to other software developers. Like, hey, have you guys tested this? I haven't seen this. And they're like, ah, not our problem. We'll ship it anyways. Uh, that's not how it usually typically works. On top of the fact that we are, I know we're not the only people in this world that have investments in this. And like, if this stuff gets screwed up and with the current climate as it is right now, especially with Terra, like, I don't care whose problem it ends up being, it's going to fall back on the ETH dev team, like it or not, because this is a, a, a thing that's happening that they're driving, right? So you're going to own it if you're driving it, right? So like, we need to find out if these apps are going to work and everything's going to be fine or if there's gonna be this huge shorting event because curve gets messed up because something nobody's seen, right? So this is like a very simple question. It's not taking shots at the, e the research team, the devs on the e foundation, nothing like that. Like it's a simple question. Like have the apps tested it? So let me bring it right now. I have it on the smart board. I'm gonna go back to the main screen here. I'm gonna bring up what I was just talking about here. This right here is the post where it says, Definitely apps have to test and we won't delay it, but we won't delay the merge if say OpenSea didn't get the memo, right? That, like what? Like, what do you mean? Like, this is like equivalent to saying, I'm an Amazon web service infrastructure. We're making some changes. Hey, by the way, we've made some changes. You need to update your stuff. Otherwise your stuff's not gonna work. Sometimes on some basic protocol, like an API or something that works that way, if you broke a WSDL or something, but we're talking about the entire platform. So like, you can't not have those apps not work. You have to check in with them. You have to make sure that they're going good. So I don't, I don't buy that for a minute. Like ETH Foundation is not gonna deal with that if OpenSea goes down and you have freaking Gary V and Kevin O'Leary and everybody's trying to get to their NFTs and they can't get to them because something got broke. That ain't gonna fly. Like that's people's jobs, it's people's livelihoods. And ETH is a $400 billion network, not a $40 billion network like Terra was, uh, an order of magnitude higher. So we gotta have a little more, not like this kind of, you know, this kind of attitude, like that's attitude, like boot, like seriously, like no, like yo, you guys have to reach out to them and they should respond, right? Like, like there should be um, something more there. And I even kind of respond to that. So that's what kind of started this thread. This isn't about proof of work, proof of stake. We're past that. Right? We know you guys are moving proof of stake. We've known it since 2017 heavily. We've known it as part of the original white paper in 2013, right? With this theory of what proof of stake was. But like this is like real stuff, right? So I'm gonna go back to the, the timeline stuff. I'm trying to simplify it for people of what I'm talking about here. So let's go back here and let's take a look at what I'm talking about. So people come up in this thread and say, well, the ETH2 merged specification has been out there since October of 2021. Problem with that is that might be an ETH research team on Beacon and a specification guide there, but that wasn't ETH1 protocol development teams that are working on their clients, right? That's what essentially everybody's been doing this whole time, making sure that that stuff's good to go. Now we've had several different shadow forks. I didn't put them on here, not relevant to this. June 4th, next test coming up in Ropeson. Let's say that's good. If that's a good test, and we're gonna go over here, we're gonna put this. We're gonna grab a green and let's say this is good. Everything as far as the ETH dev team is saying that's good. Let's count that 10 days. There's 10 days of test. So if that's June 14th, then they may get together and say, hey, everything's good to go. 
They let's say they have a dev meeting on like, let's say the 21st, I'm just advancing this seven days. And let's say they announce on the 21st of June that everything is good, they wanna ship. Now what this means typically is that the baseline is locked. There's no other changes, baseline's locked, we're good, ship it. Well, from that point should trigger these dApps. Now I put a few of them out here, OpenSea, Maker, Uniswap, there's Polygon, there's everybody that interacts with Ethereum saying, hey, they're gonna move some stuff. This is actually happening. So then the dApp teams are gonna come in here now and say, hey, we got a specification to spend some time on. Like they're done doing this dev work on the client side. They're actually wanting to do stuff. So now this is the part that I'm trying to find out, like where is this list? Is there this list? And I wanna make sure that if I have stuff in MakerDAO, that this stuff's gonna work. Like it's a valid question. Like, otherwise I need to exit this. Like, this is creating like the biggest single reason to short the freaking out of, out of this, like you wouldn't believe. Like, like, I need to make sure that if I have money locked up in here, that these guys have tested before they do a, an existential huge, you know, a consensus change over to another thing, right? So let's get this. It's not a, it's not a hard ask. And then from that, they can start planning dates, right? They can plan... Is, is it gonna be on the 21st? Let's go, let's, this is a 60 day test window. So is it gonna be August 21st? Is it gonna be September, you know, slide at 60 days, you know, or this is 90 day window here, or is it, you know, is it October? So I think they have essentially three different windows that they can create a potential release schedule, right? Uh, of doing the merge. And this all should be predicated on everybody else making sure that they're good, not just that ETH dev teams on the protocol side are okay with it. It's an environment that you're building this whole thing for. So you gotta make sure that like people are good to go. And let's say Uniswap has an issue. Well, then they may have to operate at risk because everybody else is good. I get that. Like you gotta say, hey, Uniswap, you gotta get your shit together. We gotta ship. So like, but like, you, like this shouldn't be hard. Like give us some confidence. Like that this is good. I don't care that your baseline on the merge is good. Don't care. What I care about is where the money's sitting at, right? And where the services are sitting at. That's what I care about, right? And that's what everybody else from an investment standpoint on a $400 billion network cares about, right? This is why the ETH dev teams don't get a lot of views and stuff on their stuff, right? That's protocol development. It's kind of the boring stuff. It's like nobody shows up to the Amazon CCB calls, right? The, the configuration control boards, nobody cares. But if that app that's running on their Shopify goes down, people care. Right, so this is the whole point I'm trying. This isn't FUD, it's a simple core request. Like, where are people at? And it could be answered. And they're like, Carter, you're blowing this up for no reason. It's like, no, I got money invested in this and so do a lot of other people and people have concerns. So let's have a conversation. What is it? Um, hopefully it's not that crazy to ask. I usually don't, I, this is like the first kind of video that I've acted like this, but like we've had, like there's investments in this. This isn't just the miners moving, you know, having something else to do. And if we find that there's existential issues or other issues that are that crop up, then they need to be answered, right? Uh, that's all that we're asking. So, ETH Dev Team, shout me out. Let's get on a call. Micah, anybody, uh, Tim, let's have a conversation. I don't bite. I don't like have questions. So, like, subscribe, and share my dudes. Peace.